teach the art. You still ain't never had this. Number one, the point of run about the gun. I wasn't licensed to have one. The minute they see me, fear me. I'm the epitome of public enemy. Use abuse without screws. I refuse the flow of fuels. They even had it on the news. Young Thug. Apparently, y'all might know him. Uh, the Atlanta rapper that Fonnie Willis had on RICO charges uh, pled guilty to participating in criminal street gang activity in a dramatic courtroom scene on Thursday, which I didn't watch. I didn't. It was dramatic. I didn't watch it. Bringing his starring role in the longest trial in Georgia history. Who knew? To an unexpected conclusion after a bumpy wit witness testimony complicated the state's prosecution. Okay, so after their hearing, uh, sentencing recommendations from both sides, the judge in the case, Paige Reese Whitaker, sentenced young thug, born Jeffrey Williams, to time served. <laughs> Plus 15 years, 15 years of probation. That's a long time. Yeah. And he was released Thursday night, so he's free. 33-year-old Williams, matter Man. of fact, he had... Admitted to six counts, including possession of drugs, firearms, before turning contrite as he addressed the court. He um, described his oh, anyway. It goes on. Y'all can read the story. Um, and he can't rap about gang activity. He cannot return to the state of Atlanta. He can't be in contact with any of his co-defendants. And 100 hours every year for that 15 years of, of probation of community service about anti-gang stuff. He can still travel and get his bread, and he kept his passport. So I think what we're going to see from this brother, look at me leaning in like I'm an analyst, like I'm Mark Lamont Hill. Let me let me tell you <laughs> something. I just feel like I feel so stupid in this suit. With, it's I'm the never tie. wearing a suit. It's the tie. Yeah. I'm never wearing a suit on your show again. Coming to Roy Wood Jr. live on the scene at the courthouse <laughs> in Atlanta. Let Thomas. me tell you what's happening. Yeah. You, know them, <laughs> you know them legal brothers, they be leaning all in the tanker. Yeah. Karen Hunter, let me tell you what's going on right now. <laughs> We're going to see an album of the level of Snoop Murder Was the Case slash... Mm. T.I. Paper Trail. Yes. That album, after a brother beat the government, mm -hmm. oh, shit, that'd be the best album. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're saying rapper. this young thug has the ability to produce that? Or is he one of these he mumble rappers? He's, he's going to rap. be like, right. blah, 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 blah. huh? He a little he's, mumbly. He a little mumbly. But he's the but king he... of the mumblies. Yes. He's in that future category. Somebody got to be best at it. I ain't yes. going to write off a whole category. There's a lot of clones that you've been listening to. Exactly. I'll never forget been, when I heard Lifestyle, when he said, I think he said something like, Lifestyle. And I was That's like, him? This brother That's going Young Thug? So yeah, I said, he mm -hmm. going places. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I think that 15 years of probation is not the win right. that a lot of people think it is. Probation is like dating a woman that you've already cheated on. Mm -hmm. They gonna be looking for something. Yeah, dog. That yeah. fifteen years is long, dog. What? what? And I'm yes. speaking from experience. What, what you, I was gonna say, what both. do you know about this, Roy? Roy I know Jr. plenty on both. Okay, you so here's my question. For sure. Okay, I wait. cheated and ta been taken back, and I have been on probation. When I was okay, a teen, so when me, I stole them credit cards, this. I was on federal probation. Yes. <laughs> you you stole credit cards. I told cards? you I'm an expert. Look at my look at my suit. I see, That's, I I see. you are perfectly dressed for this. Okay, I just have a question. As a person that cheated, and then why did you? Why would you allow yourself to be taken back after you were busted? Because you had to know that it you would always be on. I didn't know that I would be forever living an apology. And to the woman's credit, she tried. She tried to get past it, but you can't. You can't get past betrayal. Yeah, once you have like hard. chemically altered what was, right. once you mix two things, you can't unmix Kool Aid and water. Once it's mixed, you cannot. It's mixed. Right. So uh, I don't know here's why I use Kool Aid, but it's a black but, show. So, when you, you when you when you trip when you tripped on the on the on the ground and fell into this other woman's coochie by accident, did you know like third pump in that this like ah. Uh, I could get caught. Maybe four. No, pump, I don't know. No, you're thinking about getting caught early on. And then once you make the decision to do it, then the whole time you're thinking, how can I get away with this? And then that starts weeks and months of covering paper trails and deleting text messages as they come in. And then when you come home and you're in town, you block her number. That way she could never accidentally text you. But then when you leave town, you got to remember to unblock a number. It's just, it's stressful. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. It's so not, I, I feel like you started that journey like. with a full hairline. 
and then this is what contributed. That's what happened. That's what happened. This is what I happened. see, brothers. <laughs> I, but I'm happy the brother's out. I'm happy that he gets to make positive music. I think he's talented enough that he can still have a career within those confinements. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that not being allowed in Atlanta, that's the hard part. Yeah, is I he from the, Atlanta? Where's his brother from? Yeah. yeah. This, okay. That could he, be problematic. He big in YSL, big in Atlanta. Like, that was the whole problem, I guess. But the thing for me is, like, one, you now got all these other rappers with this ammunition, and they ain't under no agreements. So they going to definitely keep uh. talking trash about him, trying to bait him into saying something. So you got open season on him. And then, I mean, it's Atlanta, and it's a lot of people – Saying you can't be around nobody affiliated is a lot more difficult than people. <laughs> it's like, it's it sounds like it's easy. See what I'm saying? He's he not. Go. He can't go nowhere. It's not <laughs> easy. He's still a rapper. He and can just he be violates, in the club. And if he violates, he gets 20 years. And the way probation right. is set up is that if I'm with you and you have a gun, then I'm automatically in violation, even if I don't know that you had a gun. Right. That's, That's what the tightrope that you got to walk. And you can't be around drugs. You got to piss every day. If I'm around you and the, and the weed in my hair, right. they pull hair instead of taking blood or urine. I'm 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 messed up in the game. If you had and a so, venue and like if I'm performing and Roy's performing, Roy can I don't know who his entourage. He could come up in there with someone affiliated. Now I'm going to jail. That's crazy. Correct. See? Off of a picture from one, somebody going IG yes. live. I'm yes. back here with the what up the and then they do one of them. Yeah. Yep. Up in there, like, uh, and, the, and the FBI likes it. They, uh, they just like okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> so he he should look at another a whole other career. I feel like what else could he do? Mm, like, gospel rap. Gospel. No, he could go no. gospel. Well, I've, I've never I don't know. seen some of them gospel rappers. I don't know. No, I've never it. seen anyone do it. But <laughs> stop it. I think he could <laughs> go if he signed with Kirk Franklin. I think he he could find a way out. Let me be respectful to gospel rappers. Mm-hmm. There are very few gospel rappers that cross over mainstream the way Kirk Franklin's contemporary gospel sound cross over the mainstream, right. or the way Chance the Rapper. It's right. all happy, positive rap. I don't curse. I don't kill nobody on no track. Right. It's not often that that type of stuff cross over. For the most part, to me, a lot of that gospel rap is vegan bacon and yep. somebody eating it. <laughs> it's not, not for you. me. Right. It's right. not for me, is all I'm saying. You know, I'm saying a whole yeah. different career. Like maybe. Boy, I yeah, just want to say. Pilot. He could become something like, you know, sell. So I didn't door to say, door. I did first of all, if I get on a plane and young thug is on the on the intercom, like <laughs> you're about to be you're gonna be first I'm about to be flying to Milwaukee real quick. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be about three thousand feet in the air, man. We're gonna Jeez, we're about to get about four fifteen. We better get up in that thing. You hey, the, the, the gas light is on, but don't worry, I know my plane. We're gonna get that it's on. Lit. It's lit. It's up. It's oh up. He's gonna have ad libs. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I think there are other things he could do uh, with, the, with his ample talents. All right. Uh, 866-801-8255. My days are cooler. Nights are warmer. And I put the blame on you. Time moves slow. But my heart beats faster. When these eyes are looking right at you. Right at you. Something to believe in Just what I needed You're the closest